Good afternoon. My name is Corinne Geller. I'm with the Virginia State Police. Uh, behind me here is Sergeant Thomas Molnar and Lieutenant Dave Cooper with the uh, Appomattox Division. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and release a statement here, uh, updating a few details, and then I'll take a few questions. Uh, please keep in mind, we're less than five hours into this investigation, and uh, so we're going to probably have, leave you with more questions and answers because we've got a lot of the investigation to do, and these things do take time, so we appreciate your patience with us. The Virginia State Police and the Bath County Sheriff's Office are still on scene at this time, uh, investigating the assault that occurred at Senator Cree Deed's residence in Bath County. State Police and Bath County deputies responded at 7.25 Tuesday morning to a 911 call for a residence on Vineyard Drive in the Millboro community of Bath County. Troopers and uh, Bath County deputies arrived to find Senator Deeds stabbed multiple times about the head and upper torso. He was flown from the scene to the University of Virginia Hospital in Charlottesville, uh, where he is right now, and uh, he's uh, being treated for serious injuries. Senator Deeds' son, Gus Deeds, uh, age 24, also of Millboro, was found inside the residence, uh, suffering from life-threatening injuries associated with a gunshot wound. Despite efforts by troopers and first responders there at the residence, he uh, died at the scene. The investigation obviously remains ongoing right now by the Virginia State Police Bureau of Criminal Investigation Salem Field Office uh, in this, with the assistance of the Bath County Sheriff's Office. And as I mentioned, investigators are working right now on confirming the motive and the exact sequence of events that involve these assaults uh, at the residence. We're less than five hours into the investigation. There's still a lot of work to be done. And I will release more details once we're at that stage where we can, we can confirm the facts and, uh, and release them at this time. Uh, do you have any questions? Was there anywhere Um, we're not releasing who called in the 911. We have gotten the tapes. The 911 call, call came into the sheriff's office originally. Uh, they notified us, which is not uncommon. When you dial 911 in Virginia, it automatically goes to the local jurisdiction. The uh, sheriff's office contacted the state police, and we were able to dispatch troopers and deputies uh, to the residence. Uh, at this time, we're not commenting if there was. No, the incident, we believe it happened this morning, shortly before the 911 call came in. We were notified at 725 this morning. Reason to believe the gunshot wound was self-inflicted? Uh, as to the motive uh, and the actual sequence of events, that's what's still under investigation right now, and that's what we're really working to uh, to piece that together. Are you looking for a third person? At uh, this time, no. We're, we're, not, um, we're not looking for any suspects at this point. Was this a permanent residence of both the senator and his son, Gus? It was the uh, permanent residence for Senator Deeds. I'm not sure about his son. I know his son lived in Millboro. He does have a Millboro address, uh, but I'm not, I'm not certain of that at this point. Just for clarity, mm -hmm. you, you identified Senator Deeds' son as Gus, which is commonly referred to, but we're talking about Austin Deeds. Yes, I'm sorry. That's, that's the information I got was he goes by Gus. Yes, yeah. it's his son. Mm -hmm. I believe his, he has four children, and it's his, his only son, I believe. Was there anyone else at the house? Um, actually, I don't know at this point. I don't have that information. Does son have any kind of a criminal record? Uh, we can't comment on any kind of uh, criminal history. State law actually prohibits that in Virginia. Frank, can you tell us about the condition of Senator Deeds at this stage? Unfortunately, due to HIPAA prohibitions, we're not able to get any details. Um, he does have serious injuries. Uh, you'll have to contact the hospital to find out what they classify as his condition at this point. Uh, his family is there at the hospital. Uh, we have state troopers at the hospital with the family, and uh, we'll remain there to, to support them any way we can and provide them with whatever assistance they need. Was Senator Deeds able to say anything to troopers or first responders? Uh, is, he, is, is he capable of Yes, he has made some statements to, the, to our folks, to the investigators and so forth, but I, I can't comment, obviously, on what those are at this point. I don't know. I don't have that information. Anyone else in the home? We're, again, I don't know. I just uh, Basically, what I've got is what I've just released. I'm, I know you guys have said have probably more questions and answers at this point, but we're still very early into the investigation. Let me so, start you, Jim's question about whether he made statements, so he was alert at the time. Yes, yes, he has been able to talk and, and, and uh, with our investigators and the troopers. Was that early in the morning, or is that since he's been at the hospital? Uh, both. Mm -hmm. Uh, to be clear, though, you're not seeking any other suspect. No, we're not seeking any suspect at this time. Okay. Um, oh, yes. Did you say um, you made the 911 call? 
No, we're not identifying who made the 911 call. I just said it did come in originally to the sheriff's office, and then the sheriff's office dispatched their deputies as well as contacted state police immediately, and we dispatched our troopers. Did it come from the home, from the residence, or from another? Uh, I'm not sure where exactly the 911 call was placed from. Just so I'm clear, um, Austin or Johnson was inside the house? Yes, he was located inside Senator Deed's residence. Was Senator Deed's located inside the well or was he outside? Uh, I'm not sure as to his exact location of when troopers arrived on scene. I'm not sure. When you say, you know, you've only been investigating for five hours, help us to understand what sorts of questions you have to answer and why this is so tricky. Uh, well, unfortunately, it's not like a TV show where you can have the entire case wrapped up in an hour. Um, it's a very complex investigation treated like any incident we respond to. Uh, there's a, a substantial amount of evidence that must be collected and, uh, and maintained. And, of course, that's either be sent off to the, the state lab and so forth. You've got uh, various interviews you've, you've got to seek out. I mean, it's a very complex investigation, just like any kind of criminal investigation state police conduct. And these things do take time. So we appreciate everybody's patience. Will further uh, information be coming out of this office? Yes, we'll probably hold another press briefing later today. Um, hopefully we'll have some more details that we can share with everybody. So. Um, I don't know. Hadn't gotten that far yet. <laughs> I just got through this one. Um, I was thinking maybe three. Does that work kind of good for folks and deadlines later today? Mm -hmm. Thanks, Grant. Hopefully within three hours I have some more information. Why are you being mobile now? Uh, you know, I don't know. Um, they flew them. It, it may have been flight time, distance. I don't know. The trauma capability. I don't know, to be honest with you. Um, no idea. Um, I, I'm not sure. I know UVA has a, has a helicopter. Um, we don't have, I don't know if they sent our med flight or not. I know they dispatched two, hot, two for helicopters to the residents, one for the son and one for the senator. Um, but in order to fly a patient, they have to be stabilized. And unfortunately, they could not stabilize the son uh, well enough to fly him out. And unfortunately, he did pass away there at the scene. So, but they were able to fly the senator out, and they brought him here to UVA. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. So. Is there alcohol or drugs? I have no idea. So. And just going back, I think the yes, but you're not you're not saying at this point whether or not the fatal wound was self inflicted. No, no. So the motive and the actual sequence of events is, is the real crux and the focus of the investigation for our folks today. The address of the it's 26 Vineyard Drive. It's in the Millboro community of Bath County. I don't know. UVA would have to provide, the hospital would have to provide you with those kinds of details. Any chance they could be coming to any press conference? I don't know. I can reach out to them and see if we can get them to, I know I've been in contact with them before I left Richmond, but um, we'll see if maybe they can come in 3 o'clock or so, give an update.